Hello there, welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, we'll be telling you all about the Appenzeller Zennenhund, also known as the Mountain Dog. A brilliant, agile, and protective breed is one of the most outstanding watchdogs. Before we continue though, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. Let's start with Number 1. Dog Breed History a significant part of this breed's origin is quite uncertain. Its argument has led to the rise of two hypotheses, which have become widely accepted. The first says that the Appenzeller Mountain Dog was a local breed dating back to the Bronze Age. The second idea is that the breed is a descendant of Molossus, who was introduced to Switzerland by the Romans. However, research has shown that it shares ancestors with other Swiss breeds, such as the Entelbucher Mountain Dog, the Bernese Mountain dog, Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. Zennenhund is loosely translated as a dairy farmer's dog. This breed is famed for its fearlessness in nibbling at the heels of errant cows. Dogs like the Appenzeller Zennenhund were employed in Switzerland in the mid-1800s to defend homes, herd animals, pull carts, and perform other tasks. In 1853, the breed was first featured in the book Tierleben der Alpenwelt. In 1895, Max Sieber commissioned the SKG, or Schweizerische Kinologische Gesellschaft, or Swiss Kynological Society, to promote the Appenzeller Mountain Dog breed to establish breed characteristics. The Mountain Dog was displayed in the first international dog show in 1898. The goal breeding for purebred Appenzeller Mountain Dogs started the same year. In 1914, the Senenhund Dog received its first official breed standard. However, its global population remains limited. It is part of the American Kennel Club's Foundation Stock Service, which aids in breeding monitoring. Monitoring. Number 2. Appearance The Appenzeller Mountain Canine is a medium-sized dog with a hefty frame. The males stand 20 to 22 inches tall at the shoulders, while females are usually 19 and a half to 21 inches tall. Generally, their weight varies from 48 to 55 pounds. The breed features a double layer, with the top coat being tight, thick, and lustrous. Their undercoat is equally dense. However, it might be brown, black, or gray. Due to its thickness, the undercoat isn't visible through the top coat. The coat is usually straight, with no curl or wave, although you could sometimes get a tiny wave on the back. The Mountain Dog has a striking appearance and is black or brown with symmetrical patterns. Their ears are short and trapezoidal, and they drop down to the dog's cheekbones. They also have tiny, attentive eyes and a curled tail. Their diminutive size allows them to move rapidly amid a herd to relocate them to other regions on the farm. Number 3. Personality the Appenzeller Zennenhund is an intelligent and agile breed. This trait is especially seen when they are most content and have a task to do. They love to take their time when meeting new people, but notwithstanding, these dogs are devoted and loving friends. While the Appenzeller Mountain Dog is not known to be hostile, they may become aggressive if they believe their livestock or property is being endangered. Number 4. Socialization as in the usual practice, it is essential to know about the socialization and temperaments of a breed before adoption. Note that this is a scarce breed, particularly outside of Switzerland. Its breeding stock is kept small to ensure responsible breeding, so the number of purebred dogs added to its number each year isn't significant. Look into various areas if you can ask questions too. Find out if the Zennenhund is suitable for family dogs, if the breed is aggressive, and the likes. Now here's the thing, as long as it receives proper training and socialization, the Appenzeller Zennenhund can be a good choice for families with respectful older children. However, it's not always tolerant of rough handling, so it may not be suitable for young children. Appenzellers are incredibly close-knit and protective of their loved ones. Their protective nature makes them wary of people they don't know. 
This tendency makes for a good watchdog, but also requires diligent socialization. In addition, they are extremely active and prone to being stubborn, which makes training them difficult. This doesn't mean that they're aggressive. The breed just has a protective nature and is wary of strangers. However, as we rightly mentioned, with proper training and socialization, this does not usually result in aggression. Number 5. Exercise it's now news that the Appenzeller Zenithood is naturally very active. Seeing that they were bred to labor and run all day on farms shows that they need their daily exercise. Before adopting one, note that this energetic dog enjoys keeping its mind active and having a task to do. This means that he will need at least a couple of hours exercise every day in long walks, hiking, cycling, jogging, and swimming. Dog activities like agility and herding competitions may give cerebral stimulation in addition to physical activity. Do well to get some puzzle toys as well. Live in an apartment or a big metropolis. It may be challenging to provide your Appenzeller with the necessary exercise, unless you live somewhere with many areas for them to wander and run. And if you own a yard, ensure that your dog lives in a safe yard where it may run freely. It's not suitable for apartment life or spending lengthy time kenneled every day. They will not perform well if they're kenneled or created for long periods due to their high activity level and want to engage in family life. Number 6. Grooming Appenzellers have an easy care coat that requires frequent brushing to maintain it in excellent condition. They have a thick, lustrous top coat of black or brown with tan and white patterns covering a dense undercoat of black, brown, or gray. Despite its shorter hair, this breed has a double coat and sheds many times a year. Appenzellers are not the dogs for you if you want a non-shedding breed. However, it is advisable to brush their coats once a week to keep them healthy and help minimize shedding mats. Expect increased shedding times, generally seasonally, in the spring and autumn when you need to brush more regularly. If your Appenzeller spends time outside, check them for ticks and burrs periodically and keep their ears clean. Baths will be required once a month when working outdoors or however dirty you think your dog is. Dogs with hanging ears, such as the Appenzeller Mountain Dog, are more prone to ear infections, so have their ears cleaned regularly to avoid ear infections. Nail trimming should be done every two to three weeks to prevent scratches. Lastly, wash its teeth once a day with canine toothpaste. Number 7. Training as in the case of socialization, it is a vital step to train your dog. To prevent bad habits from forming, begin training and socialization when your dog is a puppy. Understand that it does not respond well to harsh corrections. So, while you're at it, keep training sessions interesting and varied to keep your dog's attention. Always employ positive reinforcement training methods such as treats and praise. Proper training and consistency are required to guarantee that the Appenzeller Mountain Mounted dog understands their job in the family or on the farm. They must realize their place in the family pack and not believe that they can strive for a higher rank. Appenzeller Mountain Dogs are very clever and rapid learners. It's simple to teach them to accomplish a specific activity, but it can also be stubborn. Adult Appenzeller Mountain Dogs who have not been adequately socialized or trained should gradually be introduced to other animals. Expose your dog to various people, other dogs, and environments to increase its comfort and confidence around strangers. This can assist in calming its protective instincts. If they are new to the house, they may feel a strong urge to establish their status among the group. Appenzellers, as previously stated, are naturally protective and suspicious of strangers. He may become disruptive and bark excessively if not given adequate exercise. Most breeds surrender to dog pounds or rescue organizations were from families that did not provide sufficient space to exercise or lacked basic training. When properly socialized as pups, the Appenzeller Mountain Dog is highly loving to his family and typically gets along well with livestock or other dogs and domestic animals. Number 8. Diet and Nutrition 
Appenzeller Zenenhuns don't usually require specialized diets. They thrive on any high-quality dog food, whether you buy a commercial diet or prefer to cook homemade meals for your dog. Feed your dog a high-quality canine diet in two measured meals per day to ensure proper nutrition. The breed is prone to obesity. For this reason, you'll want to monitor your Appenzeller's weight and food intake to make sure they stay within a healthy weight range. One of the ways you can do this is to make sure your dog gets the proper food measurement for their developmental stage. Puppy and adult dogs all have different nutritional requirements. Feeding them the right food will help ensure they stay healthy. We advise that you discuss both the amount and the type of food with your vet to see that it contains all the essential nutrients and is appropriately balanced. Some dogs need specialized diets based on age and activity level factors. In addition, ensure your dog has access to fresh water. Number 9. Health it is common knowledge that the Appenzeller Zenenhund is a healthy and long-lived dog breed. Even though it may be susceptible to typical canine ailments, it has no known inherited health disorders such as arthritis and hip dysplasia. This is not a problem so long as you ensure your dog stays healthy. We hope you found helpful information on the Appenzeller Zenenhunds in this video. Do you think this is the right breed for you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so you'll be the first to know when we post a new pet video. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.